Hi guys, welcome back. So, the modifications are finally starting on the Golf R now. The very first step is the spoiler extension, which is in this box just here. So, in this very large Maxton design box, we've got the front splitter, which is going to be put on after Friday when I've had the D-chrome done to the car. And then the diffuser, which I'm going to be putting on tomorrow. And then the spoiler extension, which I'm going to be doing today. So, the first stages is to prep the spoiler on the car already get that all clean so that it actually sticks down so i went for the 7.5 the only reason being is because i didn't like how on the mark 7 it didn't go all the way down to these bits here so it just sat on top right on the top there so with this one luckily when i get it out it's the first time me opening this and i've had it for months as well you might be able to see this a little bit better here out in the open but there is the Maxton design logo and everything on there yeah and then that's what it looks like and as you can see on here these bits it follows down so it should sit nicely on there like that so now what we've done is we've literally just marked it up and I've given it a once over with a wipe, so there's just this edge, the centre, and then the other side, and then with the alcohol wipe, there's just there, that's in the pack, I'm just going to go over it, ensure that it's all clean, and then we can finally apply it. And because it's dropped quite cold, we're just hair drying 3M tape just to make sure it sticks properly, because yeah, it's gone a bit cold outside. So here it is, the spoiler's finally been put on after being accurately measured in place. Um, yeah, the masking tape uh, tip was quite a, a good suggestion because you can literally see where each side goes so that you know that you've got it perfect. And we measured it as well just for like the OCD. Um, but yeah, so I'll be taking the protective film off. And as I was saying earlier, this is the 7.5. So the lines follow this. And it comes down here, it's like extended a little bit. but. I wasn't so keen on the Mark 7 one because it literally just stops there and it looked really odd because there was literally a big white gap here and I think it looks nice because it goes down and then it's flush with the gloss black bits here. So yeah, let's uh, take off the protective film. Oh, look at that. It's like perfect. You look at it when you first get it. You look at it when you first get it and there's like marks and things on it and you're like, oh. <laughs> Where do these marks come from? But then literally when you peel it off, might give it a quick wipe as well because there's a few little bits, little bits on it. But yeah, look how smart that looks. That looks good, that. Now I'm happy with that. Looks good. And then whatever car that was, it just went past if you heard that. <laughs> so yeah, that's watching this part one of um, the car modifications, the spoiler, and yeah, I'm excited to get the rest of it on. But yeah, it is really subtle. Um, kind of sticks out that far. Come around. But yeah, I didn't really want something that was too over the top. I think that's kind of perfect, really. That'll look really good with the uh, diffuser. And then I think the next stage is an exhaust. Get some bigger tips because the diffuser kind of drowns them out, <laughs> which is a bit of a shame. But oh well. Yeah. Happy with that. What does it look like from like the front and stuff? I don't even know if you can see that. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Nice sunset as well. <laughs> look at that. Can't even really see it. 